In this video, we introduce some of the corporate strategies for international development, how corporations can address the problem of growing on a global scale and how that strategy is described. At the highest level of international business involvement is the multi -level, multinational corporation. Corporations such as IBM, ExxonMobil, that operate on a, net, on a worldwide scale without significant ties to any one nation or region. They often have greater assets in some of the countries in which they do business, but many, assets, many MNCs are targeted by anti-globalization activists who contend that they increase the gap between the rich and the poor. They argue that they misuse scarce resources or ex exploit the labor market in less, de less developed countries and harm the natural environments. Planning in the global economy requires business people to understand the economic, legal, political, and socio-cultural requirements of many countries in which they operate. These factors will affect the strategy of the business as they choose to that they choose to use outside their borders. Companies doing business internationally have traditionally used a multinational strategy. This is a strategy where they, they are customized their products and their promotion and distribution according to the cultural, technological, regional, and national differences. More and more companies, however, are moving to a global strategy which involves standardizing their products as much as possible, their promotion and their distribution for the whole world, as if it were a single entity. In other words, creating a global product set. Multinational means you focus on tailoring your products and services to your business, whereas a global strategy, you try to sell the same product nationally as a single entity. As we've pointed out, in this module so far, the many past political barriers to trade have fallen or are minimized as we expand by opening new market opportunities. Managers can meet these challenges by creating and implementing effective and sensitive business strategies for the global marketplace. And they can help lead their companies to success not only domestically, but in many countries and even on a global scale. Being globally aware is an important quality for today's managers. It will become a critical attribute for managers in the 21st century. This is the last, the last piece of the discussion for uh, this particular module. But let's go on and talk about some discussion points that you, will, you can do as we think about some of the material that has been covered in this, uh, this module. Please participate in the online Moodle discussion discussion that covers the material in this module. The questions you'll be asked include, distinguish between the absolute advantage and comparative advantage. Cite an example of a country that has an absolute advantage and one that has a comparative advantage. Also, what is an import tariff? What is a quota? What is dumping? How might a country use import tariffs and quotas to control its balance of trade and payments? Why can dumping result in the imposition of tariffs and quotas? Also, at what levels might a firm get involved in international business? What, level, what are different levels require which kinds of commitment? Which requires the lowest or the least commitment? and what levels, what types of entry into mark, the marketplace requires the most commitment. And finally, compare and contrast licensing, franchising, contract manufacturing, and outsourcing. Please go to Moodle and answer these questions in the online discussion. We'll see you in the next module.